Hello. In this session I'm going to be showing you how to create an interesting background to your watercolour paintings using cling film. Since watercolour is a medium that allows you the freedom to do your main subject first and think about your background later, you often find yourself in a real tangle of indecision. Often I find people are really happy with the work they've done on their main subject, but that then makes them more fearful of going on and taking a risk and putting in a background, especially with watercolour, because it's a medium that doesn't allow you second chances in the way that other media does. But you have to be brave. If you don't take the risk, you'll never find out what could have been. I'm sure even the greatest of artists made many works that they felt were failures, but it's all part of the process. What I find the best part of art is exploring, experimenting, taking risks, finding out, and that's the only way you can develop. And really it's all just an adventure, and treat it like that. Take risks. Anyway, this is one of the many options open to you if you do decide a background would enhance your painting. So, first of all, you will need to do the following. Get yourself a lovely cup of tea, or maybe a glass of wine, Phone a friend, check you're doing the right thing. Then go to your kitchen, or wherever you keep your cling film, and tear off a sheet big enough to suit your needs, and then you're ready to proceed. As I've said in my first video, you'll need to lay down your wash colours first, then take your piece of cling film, lay it on the area that you want to texturise with the cling film, and scrunch it up enough to get the amount of texture you want. Then, of course, you have to step away, get yourself another cup of tea or another cup of glass of wine and wait for it to dry. And in this one, I've chosen to use more subtle tones of blues and greens for the background. And I've avoided touching the turtle with the cling film so that it doesn't bleed onto the main subject. Mm. With this one, I've wanted to create much stronger, more intense pigments and slightly stronger, therefore, textures to the water. So the water is a bigger part of the picture rather than a subtle background. And I've allowed the cling film to go over the whole subject, which should, which should let some of the colour bleed in under the cling film, which can create that lovely underwater feel and reflecting colours. So it's quite effective as well. And you can pick and choose a little bit, so you could do some piecemeal, some over, if you wanted as well. Once you've had another cup of tea or a glass of wine, and you're sure your painting's dry, then you peel the cling film off, revealing the lovely textures underneath. With this one you can see the results of a much stronger pigment, and that creates the stronger textures. And with, I took the cling film off as soon as it was dry but not quite bone dry and splashed water on as well to create the, the extra effects. So, thank you for watching. I uh, hope my instructions didn't leave you too tipsy. If you'd like to be kept updated on future videos or artwork, please subscribe to my video channel. And if you use Facebook, please like my Facebook page uh, using the link below. And that's it. Thank you very much and goodbye.